Hello everyone, welcome to another Walking Queen Hogo Wipe episode and this time we're gonna see Faction attack on this base. I already showed the same attack in the first war recap of GS96 but I decided after seeing Faction's insights about his attacks that this one is also worth a separate videos and going a bit into deep explanation about this attack. Usually in the war recaps I'm not going into deep explanations just very general stuff and I think that this one is worth going and it's gonna help you a lot with your walking queen attack so we're gonna talk about few stuff first of all the the queen walking side or the walking side of the queen whatever you say it more correctly we're gonna talk about why bring so many pekkas and only one golem there's a golem in the clan castle so that's a golem and we're gonna talk a bit about the world breakers, about the spell, the rage, the freeze, the jump, and also the queen ability at the end, and the enemy clan castle. There's gonna be a lava hound in the clan castle. It's of course a cleanup attack, and he also seen a video on YouTube on how to beat this base. It's kind of a of an internet base, something like that. So I guess some people are are using that as well, and that definitely helped him with attacking this base so first of all let's start with the queen walk first of all you want to decide the side that you're gonna go with the queen either way you can start over here and go at the, to this side or this side or maybe start over here and go here or here so it doesn't it doesn't look like it's it's a big choice to make but it's definitely one of the most important things so a walking queen with even five healers like fission is taking on this one can hold only few point defenses and when X will go into action as well when they start shooting the queen when the queen gets into the range this becomes very very dangerous for the queen even if the, if she got five healers with her so what you want to do is pick a path where you're gonna go against as less X bows as possible so on this one notice that there are two X bows on this side and this definitely eliminates this whole side so you don't want the queen to go into that part and you do want her to go in this side or this side it doesn't really matter as long as you're making her go only under one xbo fire this one the lower one so let's delete all of that so fission decided going with the queen barking is my dog again he decided going with the queen in this direction so he's gonna drop the queen somewhere here and what's important on this one is that you gotta look a bit about what's gonna happen when she's gonna take out some of those other defenses so imagine all of those defenses didn't exist and queen is gonna shoot down all of those and she's gonna stand exactly over here in the center so either way she's gonna go into this direction and or this direction so if she's gonna go to the right direction to the three o'clock direction it's gonna bet for you because she's gonna keep on going over here and then get into the expo fire so you gotta make sure you gotta help her decide where to go so what he's gonna do is drop the queen a bit over here she's gonna start shooting those defenses just in case he's gonna drop a minion over here and a minion over here to take out those and then the queen is gonna start shooting all of those buildings including those ones and eventually she's gonna go to that pump elixir pump over here so I would actually drop the queen a bit let's say a bit over here and maybe three minions one here one here and, and one here and that's gonna make sure that the queen it's probably gonna make the queen go directly where you want although it's a bit risky because the queen is obviously gonna go into this direction and gonna shoot that mortar as well and there are small chances that she's gonna go to that cannon as well so that's definitely one of the toughest part and you gotta gain a lot of experience with that to control well and try predict where the queen is gonna go one thing that you can use is watching such videos and seeing how the queen behaves in different situations there are many videos including many that i uploaded with walking queen strategies also watch your clan mates and on this one a clan mate attacked with a walking queen before that so he could see exactly what happens to the base exactly how how the troops behave and he could improve 
that attack and make it a 3 star. I think that the first attack was something like 90%, something like that. And he seen it, he decided what you do a bit different and that's gonna be the difference between a 2 star and a 3 star. So why you wanna bring 4 P.E.K.K.A.S and not more Golems for example? The reason for this one is the Tesla location. So he knows that the Tesla locations are those if I am wrong and what that means is that there are no Teslas in the core and Teslas as you know are the most dangerous troops towards Pekas so if you wanna use a huge advantage on this base you're gonna bring a lot of Pekas and they're gonna do a lot of damage in the core so let's start running the attack and meanwhile I'm gonna start explaining stuff while we're doing it so here goes the attack. I'm gonna stop it a, a bit when I do need to explain something as well. So if you wanna see the attack without any stops and stuff like that, just go to the GS96 first war recap and you're gonna see that this attack without any trouble. So Queen is going towards that cannon. Minions cleared away so it's, it's for sure that she's not gonna jump. She's not gonna go into the upper dire direction using those buildings. So those minions were important, but now she's standing in, in a very crucial decision. You can see that this cannon is, I think it's not really closer than this one. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe this one is closer, but things are a bit unpredictable with this one, so there's, th there are chances that yeah, I was I was right. So this elixir storage is closer than the cannon by like I don't know one centimeter or something like that, and all it almost got to that cannon on the upper part. So that was a bit lucky on this one, and I would definitely drop the queen a bit to the left side. I think it would help, but I don't know. I'm not a town hall ten expert, and I guess the town hall ten experts can tell you better so the next thing we're gonna discuss meanwhile is that on the first attack the guy that attacked it released his main troops that are gonna go over here somewhere when the queen was somewhere here and what I noticed that some of the healers started going towards the Pekas and the golem because they started taking damage from this cannon and from this X-bow so you will notice that he decided waiting a bit more notice that 1 minute and 20 seconds is left before he drops any troops and only then he drops the main attack with the Pekas and the Golems also notice that he's dropping the wall breakers very fast just to make sure that the Golems and the Pekas are not gonna go especially the Golem just to make sure that he's not gonna go to this defense or I don't know some other some other defenses and this is very important I thought in the worry cap that there were war breakers inside a clan castle but he was just very fast on them and dropped them very quickly so he brings some war breakers from behind and notice another important thing there's a lava in the clan castle and this actually allows this lava going for the ground troops. It's not going to do much damage about about it, and this is going to release the queen for a very nice cleanup around the base without the, that lava hound bothering it and wasting a lot of time. So he's going to drop a jump spell in an area that will have will give him access to the whole core. And also notice the free spell that is dropped on the inferno tower as well on the X bow. It would be a bad idea dropping it on the left side only on an inferno tower and a sweeper which is totally useless to this attack so if you bring one inferno tower make sure you plan where you're going to drop it so you reduce as much damage as possible for your own troops so he's gonna use the rage spell as well on the area of the inferno towers and the x-bow and that's gonna make those packas take out those inferno towers very fast so he's dropping the the hogs with, together with a heal spell because there's a bomb over there and those are gonna take out some defenses as well until they're gonna die by a giant bomb so he lost some of them for a spring trap as well and notice how those packas effectively going 
through the core of the base and the core is almost down. He's using some balloons that were, that went down by a trap eventually. So they're taking out. That's one balloon I think he's taking out. That cannon and then the trap takes it down. So he didn't know that the trap exists over, over there if I ain't wrong. And one last thing, notice how he uses the queen ability. So there's a point over here that didn't really exist in this attack specifically. Because he was thinking that there's a chance that the Lava Hound is going to go directly to the Queen and the Queen is going to be under fire but by those and maybe by this one they're going to shoot directly at the Queen. Meanwhile the Queen is shooting at the Lava Hound and then the Lava Pop. It, it can take a lot of time so once he noticed that there's a pack over here and there is no chance that the Lava Hound is going to go for the Queen he used the ability but if there was no pack over there and only the queen on the way he would he would wait for the lava hound to get close enough to the queen but not close but not too close so before the queen starts shooting at the lava hound he's gonna use the ability and that lava hound is gonna go for the healers instead of going for the queen and then the queen is gonna shoot down all of those defenses alone notice that she's with full health and with the ability used quickly she's gonna take down all of those buildings as well so that's pretty much it. I uh, hopefully I don't I didn't forget saying anything. Hopefully I I said everything that Fashion said to me. He gave some insights in a 25 minutes long video. So I tried making it a bit shorter and still give you all the big stuff about this kind of attack. So I hope you like it. If you did, like, subscribe, and comment. And thanks to Fashion for my clan for this awesome attack and the awesome explanation and that's it we'll see each other in our next video bye bye